Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. Let's get to talk about data catching using Retrofit. In this tutorial, you'll be learning all about catching and how you can enable it for your Android apps Retrofit requests. You'll be integrating the response catching to make apps faster and reduce user bandwidth. The only way to support an offline mode by app by response catching is if you actually catch the necessary responses which uh, we will be doing in this tutorial so let's get started we're actually going to be using the mobile app application source code and uh, we will be catching all data response from the retrofit HTTP uh, that actually calls the data API from the movie DB API and we will actually be catching on the get stop rated and the get popular movies call so actually going to be explaining to you in details on how to achieve this right then the API calls you have the client Java class which has the base URL and also uh, set up the the retrofit builder where you are passing the base URL and the converter factory to actually build up a retrofit response object. You also have the service Java that houses the endpoints uh, to the base URL and also uh, you can pass the, the query and the API keys uh, needed to make the call successful. We're actually going to be doing without the client the Java because uh, you will be seeing how to embed uh, into the main activity uh, the chunk of this, and uh, you're also going to be using OKHttp to do the catching. And this train to main activity, uh, we'll start up with the catch size, but before we go further. Uh, after you might have done this successfully, you need to check if server settings prevent caching. After you might have identified the relevant request, you should go through the app and trigger uh, the, those requests. Afterwards, you check the catch files and see if OKHttp is catching all necessary responses. The caveat in this uh, approach is that some servers don't support catch headers so uh, often and uh, OKHttp won't be able to catch that but majority of servers do and uh, the only way you could actually assess uh, the catch files is uh, from the Android monitor uh, probably if you're using an emulator or you have a device that is rooted uh, you can actually assess uh, the, dire the directory of the catch from that particular uh, uh, Android monitor tools. The simple way to actually set up any catch using retrofit is firstly you set up the catch size which is an MB. Uh, approximately this is 10 MB. So you we have a size of 10 MB to actually store all the catch files uh, based on the present call. So if the 10 MB uh, gets uh, filled up uh, it's actually going to empty out the old catch uh, files and uh, start up with a new one so that's how it works so always keep the uh, is, is going to always keep the the latest catch of uh, the API calls fresh so this is actually very useful for offline uh, calls and offline application once you set the integer of the catch size you move that straight up to where you actually want to make your uh, API red calls and we are actually going to do it in two places as I've said earlier where we get the top rated and where you're going to get the popular movies after that you need to check for network available that's network availability uh, probably if it's offline or your user is in the tunnel or user is uh, right there uh, in the airplane and uh, they, they, they still need to actually see the last catch data 
so this is actually going to check if the device uh, is offline or not and uh, there's a method a boolean method that actually returns true or false uh, the connectivity manager and get the system service to call the context of this activity connectivity service and now we have an object of the network info which you're going to uh, actually call the get active network info method based on the connectivity manager object generated now you're going to return the active network info should not uh, be null and the active network info should be connected so for here any success means uh, there is a network availability but if not uh, definitely probably you are in airplane mode or no internet connection and for you to have this setup as well you need to lock in to the manifest the Android permission access network state very important uh, to actually get the state of the network uh, either Wi-Fi or either broadband or either the uh, the service provider so this will actually get to know if there's any internet connectivity right there in your device so back to the main activity so after you might have been sure you set up that uh, you head straight to the load JSON the load JSON uh, we actually uh, load up the JSON for the get popular movies as we can see right there uh, so I'll start up firstly you create an object of the catch which gets the get catch directory uh, this is actually going to uh, actually create a directory uh, from out of the box from Android that's a get catch directory uh, for each application you create in Android and uh, the package uh, the folder will be created as you specify this is actually going to call the directory and apportion the size that you're actually looking at which is approximately 10 MB okay HTTP clients will be created uh, to actually get the network uh, set up where you have the builder to pass in different parameters to that the first one will be the catch uh, and also pass the object of the catch uh, which will set up the directory uh, and they also set up this the file size so in there different files of the catch will be created called catch folder you have the add interceptors uh, which you actually intercept into the calls and here you need to override the public uh, method when you instantiate the new interceptor you need to override this method the response intercept and this will this could throw an exception the IO exception uh, which you need to actually cache as well we've actually set it to true so we've actually uh, uh, gave a response to that and we you are going to create a request uh, that points at the interceptor chain to call the request and at this point it's going to test if there is network availability or not so this is if there's no network availability based on the exclamation sign means not and uh, at this time you have to set up the tolerate uh, time span you want uh, these uh, files to actually leave uh, which uh, you can we set up four weeks uh, you can set up something lower if uh, probably uh, data keeps changing frequently from your API and uh, the maximum stay that's the maximum time that uh, the catch data will stay that's just what that means and now the request create up the new builder and the header which I actually mentioned uh, where some servers don't support the catch headers uh, if they don't support it uh, they, you won't be able to catch those APIs so you have to check after you might have finished this process check using the Android monitor if uh, catch files are actually saved right there in the catch folder and uh, for you to have this you have the catch control uh, the public only if cached with the maximum still right there at the header and you build up so you need to return an object of the chain proceed request over here and uh, that ends the add interceptor after that you build up uh, the HTTP client link 
and uh, you could easily call the retrofit builder uh, based calling the base URL pointing at the base URL so you are going to do without the client.java now so now we are going to call the service.java endpoint now we have the, the base URL set up here calling the, the client which is the OKHTTP client you have it uh, set up at you've actually built up based on the network availability check the cache and so on you could still add your converter factory to convert to JSON where it's going to be in key value pairs cool and now the retrofit uh, could actually call the builder to build up uh, that uh, setup and you could still pass the retrofit to create the service.class endpoints so you could pass on uh, what you've been doing the major change here is basically uh, the OK HTTP client interceptor that we've actually override the response intercepts so we are intercepting the calls and in this point in time uh, we're checking for network availability and checking if there is uh, setting up the maximum stale time and uh, also setting up the builder with the header the catch control and build up that so we are trying to save uh, different calls into different files that's just it so once the application is uh, or once the uh, the the device is offline uh, the app could fall back to catch data so that's just uh, what this uh, logic uh, depicts and uh, it's very recommended to use it in your application so you can catch data on the fly and create uh, an offline application and uh, not necessarily uh, always uh, seeking for internet so you have that uh, set up and uh, you could finish up with uh, the response you get uh, from the uh, call response and you could pass that into the recycler view or into the adapter and set up the views and on failure you could undo uh, the failure also riskfully so you have that set up for the call to the get popular movies and uh, the same thing applicable to the get top rated movies just uh, replicate what we had earlier and get that done so you could as actually catch that as well you could catch a uh, different aspect of your API calls anywhere you made a network call you could catch it and uh, actually have that saved into the file and this will be called uh, when your device is offline and you could uh, maintain an offline capability for your application this is just uh, an addition to what we had earlier and you could actually have that uh, done I'll be uploading the source code uh, so that we actually get uh, how to uh, do this and this could be uh, replicated to different applications not necessarily uh, this particular application I'm just using this as an example so you could actually uh, use that anywhere you use retrofit you have it at the back of your mind that you can also catch network API calls data at the fly we have that done in Glide Glide could catch for if, uh, network images uh, even Picasso and uh, the general framework out of the box from Android is the sync adapter that could actually uh, save some of your API calls to your SQLI database so when you're offline you could have access to those data so these are all out of the box for you to create better and functional application thank you guys for hanging out with me uh, throughout this tutorial I'll be showing you the screencast and I'll be putting off the internet or putting uh, uh, changing the mode to airplane and we'll still see that data are still uh, available in some aspect of the application <laughs>